clip from the end to the outside. So, this is the T line design I made for the 3 inch uh, uh, smooth driver. So, this is how it's going to look like in the inside. As you can see, it got the coral reflectors here and here. And I decided uh, to do uh, to, um, yeah, to do no, no taper in this design. And the reason why is because when you taper a T line enclosure, the efficiency will drop. And in my case, it's only a 3 inch driver, so efficiency is quite important because I want the, the maximum amount of SPL and yeah it also makes a lot of things a lot it makes it a lot easier and yeah it just saves time this is just a product for fun it's not something I will use that often so it's not complicated as you can see if I can just move it around so this is uh get it up yeah, this is how it's going to look like. So it's quite high. No, it's not that wide. This enclosure, -y. also not that deep. It's just it's so wide. That's a little bit of a downside. It's like 50 centimeters wide, and it's only 19 centimeters deep and 11 centimeters wide so it, it's it's quite a small enclosure really but it's yeah yeah it's quite big but I guess it's going to sign it uh, pretty good I'm going to use uh, 12 millimeters thick MDF for this enclosure, so just get it back. So this is a nice thickness for the for the speaker and things. So it's going to be quite a good enclosure. I will use uh, some of the leftover 60 millimeter stuff from. Uh, from some other projects, I'll use them as for the coral reflectors, and that's basically it. So I'll make this enclosure in about two or three weeks, something like that, two and a half weeks, I guess. So thanks for watching.